Hello, my name is Dr Gary Kerr and I'm a social scientist here at the University of Salford. Social science is the study of society. How society functions, relationships in their broadest sense, human behaviour, interactions and how society organises itself. Social research is about understanding the social world in which we live and making sense of our social hierarchies, interactions and behaviours. But my background hasn't always been as a social scientist. My first PhD was in genetics and cell biology, and now my second PhD is in the sociology of festival studies and science communication. Specifically, I research science festivals. So, when people ask me if I'm a scientist, I usually respond by saying that I'm a recovering scientist. And what I mean by that is that my view of the world or my research paradigm, the set of beliefs that aid my research, has shifted from a positivist view of the world. When I was a laboratory scientist, my worldview was positivist or objectivist, where my worldview was that the ultimate truth is just out there sitting, waiting to be discovered. In the labs, truth is discovered by quantitative research using a calculator where the role of the researcher is to observe, record and analyse data. The researcher stands apart from the research and uses a systematic set of methods to try and disprove a hypothesis. However, as a social scientist, my ontology, that is, the nature of social reality, and my epistemology, how we know the reality, could not be more different from my previous positivist outlook. For me, now, my worldview as a social researcher is that the world is made real through people's actions, through people's thoughts, and that the truth emerges and does not exist in some external and readily discoverable form. I'm a qualitative researcher, so I generate my data by interviewing people using in-depth, semi-structured interviews. My role as a researcher is to co-construct knowledge using the data I collect from my research participants. In this sense, knowledge is something that is socially constructed by the research participants and by myself. Of course, my approach does not presume that there's a generalizable truth about reality, but the aim is to identify the meaning people construct as they interact and data may also include feelings and interpretations of what subjects reveal. My research is also inspired by the principles of ethnography. So I spend quite a lot of time working with various science festivals across the world in various capacities. This helps me understand how science festivals function and operate from the inside. So it's a really interesting place to be as a researcher, studying as an insider, and I wouldn't be able to understand and interpret my data in the same way I would if I were an outsider looking in and asking these questions. And finally, people always ask me, is it easier to do a PhD in the sciences or the social sciences? And to that, I don't have an answer. They're both different and provide their own set of challenges, so they're not so comparable. Thank you.